Good morning, everybody. I want to thank everybody so much for sending me all the links and research on this Dr. Massimo Introvigni, whatever his name is. Um, I do want to retract that I called him a Satanist yesterday because I don't know if he is or not. But we know that the books he has written about Satanism that Jehovah's Witnesses would not be allowed to read. And, you know, we've been told many, many times in the literature, don't even be curious. Don't be reading anything to do with Satanism. But it's sad that someone like this who has apparently credentials would defend Watchtower and Scientology and all these other cults and they really don't know what they're defending. You know, this guy probably doesn't even know that he's defending Watchtower and them hiding child abuse. Or does he know and he feels that they should have the freedom of religion even if it includes the clergy penitent privilege law and hiding child abuse. Anyway, I'm going to put the link down below. They actually have an interview with him on JW.org. And uh, uh, a very important point uh, is in technical terms, uh, they are what historians and sociologists call a peace community. They are non-violent and peaceful, and they have never encountered uh, instances of violence. The only relationship uh, between Jehovah's Witnesses and violence is they have been victims of violence. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are an extremely peaceful uh, community. My goodness. My goodness. But I think this is going to backfire on them because this is being spread all over the place. And uh, thank you, Beth. She sent me a link, and I'm going to put that one down below. Um, in their 2019 conference they had back in September, they had a um, discussion about Jehovah's Witnesses and the paradigm of the Internet. So anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to put the link down below. Now, they have this interview, and above it, it says, Dr. Massimo Introvigni, the, um, and they quote him, the only relationship between Jehovah's Witnesses and violence is that they have been victims of violence. I guess he does not consider child abuse an act of violence. This guy really needs to be enlightened of who he's defending. He is defending a damaging cult that you know is hiding child abuse I wonder how he feels about their no blood transfusion policy and Jehovah's Witnesses dying because of it my goodness th this kind of stuff just infuriates me and they say he's a sociologist and former representative of the OSCE on combating racism xenophobia and discrimination But of course they're not going to tell him their real disfellowshipping shunning policy, are they? They're going to have it on their website that they don't shun and the family ties aren't broken. My goodness. I mean the hypocrisy and the deception just makes me sick. And this is why we're going to keep speaking out. And yeah, yeah. Many who have done videos mentioning us, we are hell-bent on taking this damaging cult down. And if this guy wants to defend them, then I feel he is just as bad as they are. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.